Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Monday, November the 9th. Oh, I hope we're out of here anytime soon. I'm kind of feeling it might be by Thanksgiving. But that's just a feeling and a hope. I wanted to share something with you besides this video I'm about to share. I realized something this morning. You know how back when I was going to an eye doctor and I was going to get eye surgery? Okay, and then my heart started acted up, acting up. So I said, well, we better hold off on this. Let me get this heart checked out. And I ended up having this procedure. Well, I don't know if I mentioned it to you all or just privately in email. But this is a testimony, so I'm going to share it. When I had the TEE transesophageal endoscopy that they shove this scope down in your throat to look at the back of your heart to make sure you haven't developed clots because I had to wait so long from the first incident to get this procedure for my heart. Well, in recovery, in fact, started during the procedure, I had a total of 12 seizures. They're called non-epileptic seizures. And there's nine medical reasons for that, and only one is psychiatric. And yet I'm always thrown into the psychiatric category. I wonder how many men get thrown into the psychiatric category. Yeah, I'm having a talk with my doctor about that Wednesday. Anyway, here's the point. Imagine if I had just had my eye cut and a lens put in, and I don't know how they enclose it. Do they stitch it? I don't remember ever seeing anyone coming back with stitches. So I don't know how that ends, but all I could imagine was God kept me from having that first. Because when I have one of these episodes, I oftentimes just turn into a, like I'm, like I'm in a massive muscle spasm and the pressure in my head just goes up and my eyes can bulge. I mean, that thing could have popped right out of there and caused me to bleed or more or worse. So I thought, thank you, Lord, thank you for giving me trouble with the eyes because that kept me from having, I was glad he allowed my heart to mess up right then. Do you see how he works? I mean, sure, I would have rather it not have, but I would not have wanted to end up blind in my left eye. So I'm praising the Lord for all that happened, good and bad. And I just got to find another eye doctor to give me a better prescription. On with this other. Someone sent me a link to this woman's video. Now, I have to admit, I have not listened to the whole thing. But I can tell you right now, I've listened to her before. And I do not believe she would say something against, you know, what we would want to hear. But her name, her channel name is Elijah and Moses. And I don't think it always was. But I have listened to her before. This video is titled, Alert, Joe Biden and Bill Gates Trust Stamp vaccine with Gavi MasterCard and policing. I believe that's how you say it. Policing. Oh, I tell you, we knew already that if you take the vaccine, your DNA is changed. God will no longer want you. But, but if you're already 
uh, or you know somebody who is an atheist and doesn't care anyway, there are benefits to this, but also some other things you might not like, like the policing. So I'm going to share this. I'm at the 10 minute mark and it's 36 minutes long. But I have a lot of email and I got to get to comments. So I'm going to go ahead and share it at this point. And you can let me know if there's anything beyond the 10 minute mark that I should check out. Okay. Um, can't remember this lady's name. Is it Barbara? No, it's not Barbara. Anyway, you may know her already. Okay, so... It sounds like it's going to be a great video, and it's very informative already. So, I'm going to end this one here, and say, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. Because I know it's exposing some things they might not want exposed. It might not even stay up. It was put up November the 8th, and today's the 9th. Yeah. So, um, I plead the blood of Jesus over the video, over all of us, and over our devices, and our internet connections. And with that, I'm going to say, God bless each and every one of you. I pray you're staying ready, and that we may all be found worthy to escape all these things that are to come upon the earth and to stand before Jesus, the Son of Man. How awesome. How wonderful. Oh, I can hardly wait. Oh, come Lord Jesus. Well, actually, he doesn't come here. We go to him. All right. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.